Before Anne Heche would work her way up from starring in a daytime television soap operas to headlining films with the likes of Harrison Ford, Robert De Niro, and Tommy Lee Jones, after Anne Heche would become one of Hollywood's most well known openly same sex couples beside Ellen DeGeneres, I, I think it was a very difficult thing for her to trust that I was a woman who could fall in love with a woman without being gay. Before Anne Heche would tragically lose her life as a result of a car accident suffered in August of 2022. Anne Heche, the 53 year old Emmy award winning film and TV actress whose rapid rise in Hollywood was often offset by some extreme personal difficulties has died this month after injuries sustained from a fiery car crash. Breaking news at six, actress Anne Heche seriously injured after crashing her car. Initially, many had hoped Anne would make a recovery after a publicist for the actor reported that she was in stable condition following crashing her car into an LA home on August 5th. Firefighters even said that she had been speaking as they cut her free from the wreckage. But shortly afterwards, the actor lost consciousness and on August 8th, her condition was updated to critical before she then slipped into a coma from which she would never awake. It's a heartbreaking and confusing end to a woman whose life in all honesty was full of both of those emotions. After struggling to survive an abusive childhood, Anne would provide for her family from a young age as a working child actor, but the weight of her past would stay with her always and result in some sporadic behavior as an adult. Want to hear the true story of Anne Heche, a talented actress taken far too soon? Then stay right here as we celebrate her life in this video. But before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Alright, let's get into Anne's story. Anne Heche was born in Aurora, Ohio on May 25th, 1969. Her childhood was marked by homelessness and copious abuse. Her extremely religious Christian family was also wholly unaware that Anne's father, a choir director who was also reportedly in the business of gas and oil, was leading a double life as a gay man. Speaking with Larry King in 2001, Anne would say about her father, He was in complete denial until the day he died. Anne's father drove her family into debt, and as a result, Anne, the second of five siblings, one of whom died in infancy, began acting at only 12 years old to help her family make ends meet. Anne would further allege that her father, who eventually died of AIDS in 1983, would subject her to sexual abuse throughout her childhood, and this would play a part in her desire to become a movie star as a way of earning his approval. Um, I was raised in a very difficult uh, uh, family, and that's part of why I think I needed to play Joyce Donner. Other members of Anne's family, including her mother, Nancy, and her sister, Abigail, would question Anne's memories of her father, with her mother even going so far as to call them lies and blasphemies. After losing her father, the tragedies kept piling up as three months later, Anne's brother, Nathan, would die in a car crash. Things would turn around when during a sophomore high school production, of The Skin of Our Teeth, a scout for the CBS soap opera As the World Turns spotted Anne and persuaded her to audition for the show. She landed the part, but her mother insisted that she refuse to accept the role and to stay in school. Two years later, Anne would earn another chance at infamy when she was hired by the NBC soap opera Another World to play the double role of twins, Vicki Hudson and Marley Love. Anne would remain on the series from 1987 to 1991 and even go on to win a daytime Emmy Award for her performances, which in a strange twist would foreshadow Anne's own fate as the character of Vicky would fall into a coma for months after a car crash on the series. But as successful as Anne was in daytime TV, it was really Hollywood where she would leave her mark. After appearing in small parts in early 90s films like Milk Money, I'll Do Anything and The Juror, Anne quickly ascended the Hollywood ladder from small indie films to blockbuster hits in her breakout year of 1997, starring alongside actors like Johnny Depp in Donnie Brasco, Tommy Lee Jones in Volcano, and Dustin Hoffman in Wag the Dog. By 1998, she was appearing in Gus Van Sant's Shot for Shot remake of Hitchcock's Psycho. Then, she averaged a film a year for the following decade. Anne was choosing ambitious projects that allowed her to stretch her creativity while also juggling her responsibilities as a parent to her children, Homer, 
who she had in 2002 with her ex-husband, Coley LaFoon, and Atlas, the son that she shares with her other ex, James Tupper. Anne would dedicate herself to her kids in her later years, but when she was at the peak of her career in Hollywood, she became one half of the industry's most famous same-sex couples when she dated comedian Ellen DeGeneres for three years. Their relationship started in the late 90s, and in fact, against the wishes of her studio, Anne would come out publicly at the 97 red carpet premiere Volcano by taking Ellen as her date. In a later interview with Page Six in October 2021, Anne would say that she was actually blacklisted by Hollywood because of this relationship, and after starring in Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford, Anne would never headline a major studio picture again. After she and Ellen parted ways, Anne would suffer a public breakdown in 2000 when, according to reports, she drove into the desert and walked some distance to a stranger's ranch where she asked to take a shower before settling into the stranger's living room to watch a movie. Eventually, the occupant of the home would call the local sheriff when Anne showed no sign of leaving. Following this event, Anne would be briefly admitted to a psychiatric unit where she told the doctors that she had taken ecstasy. In the years afterwards, Anne would speak candidly about her struggles with mental illness, including the revelation that she retreated to a fantasy world that she called the fourth dimension, where she was actually a woman named Celestia, the half-sister of Jesus Christ. What could I do when I was Celestia? I spoke a different language. I spoke a different language that God and I spoke yes. together. Can you still remember that language you spoke? Of course. Can you do any of it? Unfortunately, as much as she tried over the subsequent two decades to rid herself of her demons, it would definitely become an impossible task. On August 5th, 2022, Anne Heche would be involved in two separate car accidents. The first happened just after noon in the Mar Vista area of Los Angeles, where she crashed into the garage of an apartment complex. She then reversed and sped off from the first accident, only to once more lose control of her car and plunge into a nearby home, igniting a fiery blaze. According to TMZ, Anne was under the influence of narcotics at the time of this event, as cocaine was found to be in her system along with fentanyl, though the latter could have been a result of pain medication administered in the hospital. And while Anne was apparently awake and vocal at the time of her rescue, she would later slip into a coma for nearly a week before it was revealed that she was not expected to survive. Anne Heche would be legally declared dead in the state of California on August 12th, though her heart continued to beat until Sunday, August August 14th to ensure that her organs could be donated in accordance with her wishes. Her death was officially ruled an accident and according to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner, she died due to inhalation of smoke and thermal injuries with a sternal fracture due to blunt trauma being another significant factor. Her now 20-year-old son Homer would pay tribute to his mother in a stirring statement to People magazine stating, After six days of almost unbelievable emotional swings, I am left with a deep wordless sadness. Hopefully my mom is free from pain and beginning to explore what I like to imagine is her eternal freedom. It's a truly tragic end to one of Hollywood's most recognizable names, and we here at Famous Entertainment want to send out our well wishes and thoughts to Anne's surviving family, especially her two sons Homer and Alex. Like Homer himself suggested, the hope is that Anne is now in a better place where she can finally escape the torments of her past she was unable to shake throughout her career. Please take a moment to let us know your own thoughts on Anne Heche's life and story in the comments down below. When you're finished with that, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Thanks so much for watching, and Anne, if you're listening, we hope that you finally found the peace that you were searching for all along. My name is Kara, and I'll see you guys in another video.